welcome to Book Bites, this is episode 1, and we're going to be exploring some of the newest and exciting books that the library has to offer. For episode 1, we're going to be looking at Holly Black's The Cruel Prince, the first in a very exciting trilogy. Three sisters are whisked away from home by a murderous parent-killing fairy. Three, these three sisters now have to survive the wicked fairy kingdom of Elfame. And so, a story begins that will be forever cemented in this fancy world's history books. Our main character Jude despises the Fae. From dangerous debauchery to ultimatums and assassinations, they're pure nightmare. Worst of all, Jude has to suffer through school with them when they want nothing more than to see her dead. Ringleader, Card and Greenbrier, the most cruel, wicked and beautiful of them all, is ultimately most nightmarish. No one would dare stand up to him as the High King of Elfheim's son and Prince of Fairy. However, a dangerous plot is beginning to unravel as a coronation night draws near, and Jude's troubles increase when he starts spying on the royal family for another prince. Finally, on coronation night, Jude realises too late that everything she's ever loved, known and hated is in peril. The story of The Cruel Prince quickly became one of my favourite reads of the year. This book constantly keeps you guessing on who are the pawns and players in this game. In this book, my favourite cat scene is undoubtedly the coronation night. All the pieces begin to fall into place and it's absolutely magical to see how everything comes to a close. Or so you think. Jude is betrayed by those dearest to her and everything that she's ever worked so hard for is thrown down the gutter. And it's so wonderful to see how she rebounds in the aftermath. Jude is easily one of the strongest characters I've seen in fiction, and she perseveres throughout everything. Her twin sister Taryn, however, is her perfect foil. She is quiet and meek, never wanting to disturb or anger the Fae, and Card and Greenbrier, an utter nuisance. But he does lift up in the end, and there is some gorgeous character development in Jude and Cardin. This is the first book in a trilogy that can be read as a standalone, but the story will just leave you wanting more. Honestly, it's lots of fun reading and this book and the rest of the series. If I was to describe this book in three words, it would be Betrayal, Assassin, and Romance. If you want to give the book a try, it's available at the library. And if you read it and find out you enjoy it, I suggest you read The Ranger's Apprentice by John Flanagan or Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mars. Happy reading. See you next time.